So Ron, I mean, one of the one of the essentials of of Christianity is something called the gospel, and so I guess I just want to ask you. It's good for all Christians to know, but I'm going to ask you. Yeah. I'm putting you on the spot here. No, 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 no. Ron, no. it's what? central to uh, our faith. Uh, gospel means good news uh, and uh, good news about Christ and the fact that He has uh, uh, is God made one of us. Uh, a God uh, that is here and has come and uh, is here by his spirit now, but was historically here in the person of Jesus Christ. And, mm -hmm. um, uh, that he lived the, uh, the life that we couldn't live and died the death uh, that uh, we should die mm -hmm. uh, for us as our substitute. And rose again that we might have life uh, eternally with him. You, you touched on... Uh a little bit of faith, our response to that good news of what God in Christ has done. Right. Um, what talk about faith a little bit? Because all, all religions have faith, or they're all called faiths. Right. What What is the difference of the faith that you speak about that's required um, yeah. for that gospel to actually be good news compared to maybe what you're taught in other versions of Christianity or? Mm -hmm. perhaps even other religions, faith and works. How do those relate to the gospel? Yeah, faith. when I speak of faith, I'm speaking in a sense, I think, of what the scripture says, that we're trusting in Christ, mm -hmm. we're relying upon him, we're casting ourselves upon him, uh, we're uh, trusting him to save us, uh, is what, what it really means. And it, but it, the, So the focus of faith is what really is most important, not the amount of faith, uh, Jesus said it could be the amount of a, a mustard seed, but if it has the right object, if it's turned in the right direction, if it's placed in Christ. So what I, what I hear you say is that we're not saved, or someone who believes the gospel or the good news of what God has done in Christ isn't saved by, by the strength of their faith, right. but by the object of their faith, the right. Savior Jesus Christ. Right. You hear people saying it's not just the aid of the Christian life, but it's the aid of the Z of the Christian life, the gospel. How fill in the B through Z for us. Uh, I mean, it's more than just getting saved. How does the gospel strengthen you or, or strengthen yeah, the believer, those in your flock? It's core. It's central to our faith, uh, not just to become a Christian, but to to be a Christian. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's uh, It does strengthen us. Uh, and that's why we at Valley Press preach the gospel. I seek to preach the gospel every single mm -hmm. Sunday from every single text, mm -hmm. uh, Old Testament or New Testament. Uh, it may not uh, give uh, outline. Old Testament passages may not outline it, uh, but as we, as Jesus told us to go back into the Old Testament and look for Him, did mm. the Scriptures speak of Him? Yeah. Uh, then the Scriptures speak of the Gospel, and so we should look at through Gospel eyes, uh, even the Old Testament mm. and every passage of Scripture. And so that that's what will really build up the Christian that they realize what God has done for them in Christ, mm. and. Uh, and then our response, that comes into our works, and our, our works are a response to that gospel. And so it's, it's you know, it's con continually um, learning to uh, 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 follow Christ. I mean, the law, we talk about law and gospel. The law sure. drives us to the gospel because we realize we are, we're sinners and we're not right before God. We haven't done what he's told us to do. And then once we realize that that will never save us, that only Christ can save us, then the law comes and, and is our guide and and, and, and our, our direction is how to how to not please God but how to uh, love God how to uh, love God and neighbor uh, mm -hmm. um, and the law tells us that so we need law and gospel uh, uh, it's essential to uh, teaching the scriptures.